Hello, lovely Christmassy beans of lo joy, love. I don't know where I was going with that. And welcome to another Vlogmas episode. In this video, Claudia and I have come to a difficult situation which we're going to resolve. It's a before times difficult situation. You probably mm. wouldn't oh, yes. face it in 2020. No, to be we could honest. be going to a virtual party. Yeah. Okay. So the idea is oh my goodness, you've just been told that you have to go to a party, but it's one of those parties where you have to wear a Christmas jumper. And but you oh don't my have one. goodness. You chucked out last season's in the bin, or recycled it, or took it to a charity shop, which is what we should or do. Or a clothing bank, or something. Yeah. Point is... You don't have one. Oh no! So, you now have 30 minutes to make a new one. So we're basically going to challenge ourselves within mm -hmm. 30 minutes to decorate a plain sweater that everyone usually has, with some Christmas ornaments that most people usually have. Just things like you'd find lying around the house. and stuff. And, and we can use sellotape, mm -hmm. uh, double-sided sticks, Mm -hmm. tip tape. We can use a needle and thread if we need to. But we have got a 30 minute window. Yes, I think so she's mainly reminding me. A timer, okay? That's what's gonna happen. We should also I let you know that we haven't got any preconceived ideas. <laughs> <laughs> like, I haven't really thought about this. The all. idea is that you're in a panic, you've got to get ready for this party. Before we begin though, I'd just like to say that I did try to find plain jumpers online, and for some reason that's just not a thing that exists in 2020. <laughs> because this is a size six. Yeah, but everything's like oversized. Why is everything massive now? This is the size. This is a size six. This is a size eight. And I didn't even right. order in Christmas jumpers are meant to be cozy, darling. I mean, there's cozy, and then there's yeah. This is a US size two, by the way, if you're American and confused by that. Yeah, and this is a four. Roomy for all that turkey and Christmas pudding. Mm mm. Or virtual. <laughs> virtual, yeah, yeah. Thirty minutes starting now. Begin. Oh my god. Okay. Here's your other drink. Thanks. <laughs> Gotta have two on the go. Let's look at my canvas. It's a pretty ruddy large canvas. <laughs> it is. Okay, I picked up in our run around the house a pearl necklace which has broken because I'm gonna use the pearls to decorate. I've got a box of like Christmas decorations Excellent. that I'm gonna like. Ooh, I'm gonna nap some of those some actually. Pegs, oh, I think I've got an idea coming together. Oh gosh. Here's some more pearls, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, do you have a problem? Here you go. Thanks so much. These are actually to go on the tree, but sure. Oh, Tilly's gone. Tilly's been really freaked out by all the Christmas decorations. Tilly's having a really bad day. She's like, all week. To be fair, the builders also stress her. Also, normally Jessica like films in her studio, yes. which is a room upstairs dedicated to just filming. And Tilly doesn't isn't, doesn't go in there. Like she's not allowed. The dogs aren't allowed to go in there because they patter their feet and stuff. She's such a good girl. She sits outside the door. Yeah, and now we've got this like the Unlike setup water. on a tripod and the lights which are on tripods. And she doesn't like tripods. She's got like a tripod phobia. Triphobia. She doesn't like. She doesn't like three-legged things. I don't want to spend my half an hour threading this needle. I'm not very good with time pressures. You may be able to have guessed that from every other craft video we've ever done. It's red. Okay. So I'm laying mine all out. Oh, that's clever. I mean, I wanted to put this across the chest, but of course, this jumper has like bat wings. So, like, how do you like? How do you like? Where do you stop it? Threading the needle. All right. I've laid out my plan. Um, oh no! Are you not anymore? No, shh, I am. It doesn't matter, you can tell them, but like, you know, I gotta like, I'm gonna sew as well. What do you say about my sewing? Nothing, I'm sure you passed sewing in school. Did everyone do sewing in school? I don't know. I think class. it comes under like home tech. Yeah. It? So it's like, you might do a little bit of it. <laughs> you name it everywhere, it's by panicking. <laughs> That's, yeah, I'm gonna take it all calm and chill. Everything's gonna be okay. I have to sing that to Jessica every morning. <laughs> Imagine if you did, oh my god. <laughs> Claudia, fortunately, unfortunately, has a job that requires leaving the house, which is super you know, fortunate in that we, she can leave the building site and doesn't have to deal with it all day, every day, but also super unfortunate because there's a pandemic on. There's a pandemic on with a respiratory virus and I'm looking in people's mouths. She's a dentist. I'm just like, yeah, you know, whatever. And then people just come in 
for fun. Like during the second UK lockdown, you're only supposed to go to your necessary medical appointments. And people are like, hey, I've decided now's a great time to look into teeth whitening. I know. And she's like, why are you here? I was a bit like, why? What is going on? It's not an essential thing. <laughs> why do you think? But no one listens to you Boris. Master. That's why. They're like, whatever, Boris. Boris's fault. Everything. And also, Boris's I fault. think it's because everyone's working from home. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people are working from home or they've been furloughed, if they're in like lucky lucky positions to be for furloughed or be able to work from home, then they're like, they're like, mm, I've got more time. Like I'm like, I'm able to go to an appointment at the dentist. So Which normally all, they would miss without calling. So they're just like, we're coming in right now. It's like, we're busier than ever. I think also people are staring at themselves a lot more. Like you just don't have <laughs> anyone to true. look at. <laughs> or maybe they're thinking, I'll do this kind of work now where I have to lose a tooth for like a week. No one's seeing the transition period. Yeah, or, people are just gonna see afterwards yeah. and everyone at the office when you come back will just be like you're looking great yeah. but no one will actually know right what's the timing how far have we gone oh my god Where's oh my phone? god we've got 21 minutes left okay that's all right that's i've all right. sewn on one pearl come on oh. darling party party we've got a party if we don't we have a zoom call with my parents but you know party and where we will be wearing our obligatory christmas jumpers so Let's do it. The challenge as well is, I said to Jessica, if we were going to wear these to a real party, we've got to like dance around in them yeah, and yeah. then sit down and see if they survive it. Yes, yeah, so we're going to have we, a dance yeah, on. Can we actually put them on or have we sewed all the way through the double layer of jumper? <laughs> <laughs> and secondly, can we dance in them without like bits falling off? This is so, see like I watch sewing YouTubers and they do this in two seconds, I swear to God. Or well, they're like, it took me an entire day to create this 18th century ball gown. Like, Just the one day, huh? Because that program wasn't a great sewing bee. <gasps> yes, there was. Well, I mean, there's quite a lot of programs with us. But I always thought it was a bit unfair because people, different people had different skill sets. Yeah. That's the same with Bake Off. That's why you get eliminated. That's really harsh. No, that is just competition. Look, I'm a Quaker. I was raised without competition, so. At don't least know what once to tell a week, you. Jessica pipes up. I'm a Quaker, there's always some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Just an excuse. God. I was raised a Quaker, so also, I don't know. One of the main things about a Quakerism is, is, shutting up about is not it. talking about being Quaker and going on about it. Oh so, my uh, you geez. Know. It's normally when you're like, hey, do you remember this toy from our childhood? We used to shoot people with foam bullets. And I'm like, no, we were only allowed educational non-violent toys. Are you talking about like Nerf guns? Sure. <laughs> you know, I'm always one of those people that's like double sews, like I sew through the wrong side. Like, you know, like I'll be hemming my trousers, but I've just like closed them shut instead. <laughs> and I've just spent an hour doing that. <laughs> God damn it. Gotta unpick it. I know, I'm not even properly sewing. I mean, I am sewing, but I'm just really hastily <laughs> tying it. Yeah, done, excellent. Why is someone gonna be looking on the inside of your jumper at a Christmas party? Everyone's gonna be too sozzled to even look anywhere. I might get lucky with you. I don't think I'd be looking on the inside of your jumper. I didn't tell. Look on what's inside your jumper. Yeah, you would. Naked Attraction. No! Naked Attraction. If you've never seen Naked Attraction, basically they put naked people in boxes and then they find someone who for some reason is attracted just to genitals, but like literally just to genitals. And then they raise the top of, they raise the front of the box so that all this person can see is genitals and then go, choose one to be your life partner. And they're like, oh. Okay. I've lost my needle. Oh no! Is it in the middle of the head? Yeah. I'm trying Excuse to. Excuse me. I'm like, so sorry. You're coming into my but like my, my jumper space. is just oversized. Your jumper is only smaller so much than my jumper. <laughs> Time check. Oh shoot! Thirteen minutes. The reason that I personally don't like swearing is just that because it uh, hurts people. Some people are offended by it. Wouldn't yeah. Want to but upset anyone. Yeah, but I've said like. Oh, will you allow blasphemy? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, well, that offends lots of people. <laughs> Don't care about the people that offend me. Like, say you've got sectors of people. <laughs> no way. When did I say, yes, blasphemy is fine? You told just me. I being said... rude about a religion. No. That's like, not oh right. My God. But if you're just saying, oh, God. Yeah. I guess that's not really offending anyone, is it? No, even religion... it's not standing there and going, no. your religion is stupid. And even religious people could be like, oh, God. Oh, this is really cute. Are you just copying my idea now? No. Okay. How am I copying your idea? I don't know, just getting like a central or thing. Or making a Christmas jumper. <laughs> How dare you put Christmas things on your jumper? 
in this Christmas jumper challenge, where are the scissors? I came up with the ingenious idea of using wire rather than thread to like pierce the jumper with <laughs> and keep things attached. I'm gonna rock up this party looking as stylish as I normally do. <laughs> hopefully it's a Zoom party because no one can see. Yeah. And also hopefully there's like loads of people at this party so the screen the screen's like got loads, loads of people on it. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Also, I learned the other day, because I was doing an interview um, with a journalist, that Zoom has a beauty filter. Okay, I, was, I mean, I'm still, I've just crowned my jumper with paste. And then I went and got some Sharpies. Make you a cute jumper. Wait, that would be so much easier. Her jumpers are really tiny. Damn. <laughs> should have accessorized the dog's Christmas. We should have thought yeah. this through. Why did we make ourselves Christmas jumpers? Well, the gut, well, I mean, the dogs weren't suddenly going to a last minute Christmas party. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Hey, it's 2020. We need all of the uh, guests we can get to our Christmas party, all right? Yeah. Go you. You're amazing. You're rocking it. You're killing it. Oh, thanks, darling. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. I'm just your cheerleader in life. How are you going to put that over your head? <laughs> Remember that is part of the challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll find out. That's part of the fun. Oh, exactly. Okay, okay. Oh, no. I don't want to draw on it now because I have an issue about things. I'm going to see. Oh no, what's seasonal? What's a seasonal oh, thing? Oh, my needle became on thread. Ow! Poked myself with Are you alright? Yeah. Is everything okay? Oh my god, what should I do now? Oh, we've just got seconds to go. No! Seconds to no, go! No, 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 I'm not done! That's not how it works, Claudia! No! Not seconds! Yes, Claudia. No, 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 no. What? what? No, it's not that. No, I need an extension. <laughs> Are you calling in an extension? All right, you're calling in a pause. Look, is that it? Is we're going to be it? fashionably late to the party. And pause. You've got. <laughs> we're going to be fashionably late to the party by five minutes. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. And start. Five minutes. Go. I'm not normally the one that's like. Tilly's like asleep on my lap. So unbothered. <laughs> it's like finally, all these builders are gone. I can just sleep on my mummy. Everything is fine. Okay, oh, 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 Yeah, she'd at least be singing like, Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells, all the way! I will find Mr. Ryan, one horse up and say, Oh! La, 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 Everything is fine, everything is fine. Everything is gonna be okay. Right, you know what, I think I've cracked it. This is the first time we've, like, I've not finished a competition before you. Some people nice. might take points off me because oh, yeah. actually you finished on time. Hi, puppy. Oh my god, little puppy. The puppy and I will just be over here snuggling. Oh no, my noodle! It became on thread again. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> no, 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 Bubba. <laughs> it's okay, Bubs, it's okay. Yes! Hey! I think that's done. It. Done. All right, now we put them on. Maybe let's film them. Now let's see what happens. Okay, and now the mark of a successful jumper making. Can we actually put it on over our heads? And dance around a bit. And dance around. And nothing falls off. <laughs> and I've got to try and get this. How are you? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna, interested to see how you're going to get the, uh, <laughs> the peg net okay. around you about okay. anything coming off. It's going to happen. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to really slowly lower it. Lower it. Pulling. Pulling. Oh, oh. I just get more to oh. Get out from there. Oh. I made it. I have birthed my head. <laughs> oh, I did it. Well done. Yes. Fly. We look like we're ready for a Christmas party. How does your jumper look smaller than mine? Mine's the size what bigger. About, what are you saying about me? Because I've got <laughs> my sleeves up. Because <laughs> yours looks you like it actually... Fold it in a bit. It's acceptable. It's actually quite a look. It's quite a look. Stunning. I feel like I could Absolutely glide in this. stunning. Well, I'm an angel. <laughs> I think if you wanted to jump off a building, you'd be okay. Woo! Why would I jump off a building? <laughs> I don't know. 2021 is just around the corner, guys. <laughs> Your boobs have got a face. 
<laughs> in the centre. That's my third nipple. Oh, <laughs> do you think people would be like, did you make that yourself? Or do you think they'd know that, you know, I bought it from an expensive shop? Yeah, they'd believe you'd bought it. Yeah. So, uh, my jumper here, I'm trying to curry favours with our viewers, you might be able to tell. It says, season's greetings, lovely people. Huh? 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 I think that's worth extra points for me, mm -hmm. clearly, obviously. It's got pearls. Like your, your it's got pearls. Delightful. Who wouldn't love pearls on a jumper? Just what I'm after, in fact. Um, it has a, a beautiful wreath. Oh, around my neck. I don't know we meant to explain our jumpers. <laughs> Jumper John. We don't have to explain the jumpers. I just like to talk. Has even got a Christmas ornament. Jessica explained her jumper, so I'm gonna explain my concept. This is a ranger's head. And this is the sleigh, like trailing behind the reindeer. What? And these are the other, this is Rudolph, because Rudolph leads the sleigh. And then look, these are the other rangers and the <gasps> bells. They're also little bells dashing through the snow. So mine is the whole like, you know, Rudolph for the Red Nose Ranger theme. Whoa, that's really good. Thanks. Re you really thought that through? In it the is. five seconds since you realized you had to explain your jumper. No, I thought it through at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> sure. We come to the real test of a Christmas jumper. Can we rock it on the dance floor? <laughs> Obviously it's a dance floor, just the two of us, because it's 2020. Just breathe on your household. Dancing, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 good stuff, good stuff. Dance like a this 90s is how you dance mark. in a Christmas jumper. Thank you so much for watching us make these incredible 90s Christmas jumpers. I think you'll agree. Uh, they both survived the mum dance off. I'm winning, I'm winning. Whichever you have decided was the best Christmas jumper will be crowned in the next video, the Christmas jumper winner. So please let us know in the comments down below. I think you should vote for me because I, look, I even wrote lovely people on it. Vote for me and the Rudolph sleigh jingle bells concept. Vote for me. Get down there in the comments and vote for me. <laughs>